native bees are the most important pollinators on the planet. Without native bees, we lose, we lose everything. We have about 200 species in the Bay Area. And this garden has most of those 200 species. <laughs> Just as you've probably heard by now that the honeybee is in decline, our native bee populations are also declining, some um, on the verge of extinction and some have already gone extinct, especially bumblebees. And that's due to habitat loss, primarily, and of course pesticide poisoning. But habitat is the key. And so whatever urban gardeners can do to provide these oases of pollen and nectar-rich habitat forage for bees, the better our pop the healthier our populations will be. One thing you'll notice is that there are blooms of all different heights, colors, shapes, because our bees come in many, many sizes. They, they range from less than a quarter of an inch to uh, an inch and a quarter in the case of bumblebee queens and carpenter bees. We have t many, many tiny little sweat bees and each of these bees um, has a preference for what kind of flower they'll forage on or even a physical limitation. And then we have, we have plants that, that bloom all the way through spring through fall. We've also provided this artificial um, nesting block for leaf cutter bees. And we have an old stump there, and we drilled it with holes. And that will also provide nesting opportunities for our wood nesting bees. But ground, leaving undisturbed ground, free from, if you'll notice, there's almost no mulch on our ground. Because ground nesting bees can't dig through a thick layer of mulch to get to the ground to, to excavate their nests. Since so many wild areas have been lost to industrial agriculture and suburban development, our, our gardens, our residential gardens, can provide uh, really an important resource for these bees.